So I have a lot of videos here for EndNote, but Zotero is my new favorite toy. And so I'm going to do a whole series now on doing some of the same things one can do in EndNote in Zotero. So first thing is inserting citations in your paper. That's the most important reason why we use any citation manager, right? So I have this um, uh, blank paper, a little template of a paper for a project that I'm just about to start. And so I'm going to show you a little hack to start out. I'm going to pop over into the proposal for the project. So I wrote a proposal because I'm working on this with a couple of other people. And I have some background and proposed methods and search terms. It's a review article. So I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to take the first two paragraphs of the background because I've already written the background for the proposal and well gee I can probably make this like little moldable clay and repurpose it in my paper so I'm going to right click I'm over here in Microsoft Word I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to minimize and come over into my introduction and I'm just going to go ahead and paste and you'll see these little superscript numbers in here my references have come right along for the ride. So I'm already starting to build my bibliography. So let's see if it works. I'm going to go to the bottom of my document and let's see, where is it? Oh, reference list. Here we go. So building a reference list here, what I'm going to do is I've already got some references inserted and I've got Zotero open in another window. So we'll pop open and say, hi Zotero, how's everything over here? And I've got my big bloated, completely full library here. So with Zotero open and the Microsoft Word plugin installed, I'm going to click in this empty space here and just to be safe, I'll put in an extra paragraph return. And then what I'm going to do is go to the Zotero plugin menu and add edit bibliography. So we're going to click here and cross our fingers and then it's going to open up and say, what kind of reference would you like? Well, I actually had, um, I think, American Medical Association. I had little superscripts up there, but you can choose APA style. And you'll notice it's going to give you different choices here. If I did Chicago Manual of Style, um, it gives me some other choices as well. Different types of fields. You can do, I don't know, American Chemical Society, they sound smart, um, Elsevier, um, MLA, uh, so lots of different options. And you also can add styles here, but I'm just pretty boring and it's either APA for me or um, AMA style. But let's go ahead and um, stick with AMA style and I'll show you a couple things here real quick. Um, so I'm going to use Medline abbreviations and automatically update the citations. This is why we use this. If you're going to change any of the content, you just don't have to go back and redo anything. So I'm going to oops, bring up here so you can see. I'm going to click on OK here with my AMA style. And lo and behold, my references came in. So here they are. And if I scroll back on up into my beginning of my document, you'll see that I've got my superscript here. So then I can continue to write my introduction and I'm going to write uh, just like do a little blah, blah, blah here. And then I want to insert a citation. So if I know what citation I want to insert, I can actually just search for it automatically. But let's say we're going to go through, we're not really sure exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to click on add edit citation. And this is going to give me the little Zotero window. So click on this and you can see you can click into classic view and get a bigger, broader view of your library. And this will help you find search and find um, different types of resources uh, in uh, that, that you can use for, you know, if you, if you don't know, let's say, for example. So this is a continuing education paper and I have no idea what I'm looking for here, but let's just go ahead and we're going to uh, click on, um, oh, I don't know, massage for low back pain. Let's just assume this is the reference reference we want to add. We're going to click on OK, and I'm going to get a little superscript number six here, and then I'm going to come back down here, and you'll see that this is automatically added to my library. So yippee yahoo. So the other way you can add references, let me just randomly click, uh, oh, we'll put in another um, do, yeah, whatever. Um, I have to remember that these are in here and I'm going to again click right here and I'm going to add edit citation and so if we get this mini window let's say I want to talk about medical education so I can just type in and there's a little spinner over here on the right hand side and this is actually looking through my library to find any references to medical education 
So while that spins, this will help you select from, um, from uh, citations without actually having to always remember them. So now I can look at the transformation of CME, appreciative inquiry. I've got a couple of options here. Some of them, I guess, aren't showing up fully on the screen that you're looking at. Oh, can I drag this up? It's not letting me drag this up. But uh, um, oops, there we go. OK, so let's say I want to pick um, two of these. I can go ahead and I can click on the first one, then I can search a second time, and the same list should come up. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the second one, and oh, what the heck, let's just oversight here and we'll get the same list back here. And I'm going to click on. Oops, I did the same one twice, so I'm going to delete Powell the second time. Well, we'll just stick with these two. So let's just say we're using these first two. Click on Enter, and now you'll see, if you can see this little itty-bitty thing here, we've got two citations in here together. So to make this a little bit clearer for reading purposes, I'm going to take my seven-item bibliography now, or reference list, and I want to change my format. So I want to click someplace else, not in the reference list itself, and I want to go to my document preferences and I'm going to switch to APA style seventh edition just going to switch my style and it's going to go through my document and look what happens I've got everything perfectly formatted here these guys are right here together where they need to be and I can go down to my reference list and it is perfectly formatted here for me as well so this actually works brilliantly for your citations and you're moving chunks of um, text around in your document it will automatically format the citation just making your life so much easier so hope that's helpful and happy researching